Yo Hero Metaverse, ang susunod na Axie Infinity? Hello po sa inyong lahat and welcome back! This video, pag-uusapan natin ang gameplay ng Yo Hero, how much it takes your time to invest, what can you get for short and long term sa game na ito, and who is this game for and not for. Kung may questions pa kayo about this game after watching this video, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best para sagutin ang lahat ng inyong mga tanong. So kung ready na kayo, huwag kayong aalis and just keep watching! What is Yo Hero? Ang Yo Hero is a play-to-earn game in which its developers came from the SM community or Sky Mavis community that used to be Axie Infinity's core community when it was on its early stages. Ginawa nila ang game na ito dahil na-disappoint sila sa Axie for changing their play-to-earn model. Inransfer kasi ng Axie ang kanilang main network from Ethereum to their own sidechain, Ronin. Hindi nag-agree ang SM community dito. Pero nag-push through pa din si Axie sa decision na ito. So ayon, nag-establish na si SM team with 200,000 players sa user base nila. And thus, they came up with Yo Hero Metaverse para pakita kung ano ba talaga to have a just and fair play-to-earn model. Ang Yo Hero daw ay isang upgraded version of Axie Infinity with a sustainable and stable economic model. Ang target daw nila is not to become the new Axie Infinity, but to become something better that can eventually surpass Axie Infinity. Ang Yo Hero has YOLOs which are the aborigines or yung mga naunang tao sa kanilang planeta. Or ang tawag nila dito ay Yo Hero Metaverse. Ang YOLOs ay naniniwala sa kasabihan na you only live once. Kaya naman, they aim for peace and contentment for generations to come at sila ay naging guardians na din of the Yo Hero planet and even the universe. At bigla na lang one day, May virus na dumating at ang pangalan ng virus ay X-Virus. And the YOLO stood up to bravely guard their home. Gameplay So ang role natin dito as players are YOLOs. May 8 types of YOLOs. Chi Practitioner, Warlock, Mage, Assassin, Priest, Shaman, Warrior, and Knight. Para ma-play ang game na ito ay kailangan mo ng at least 5 YOLOs. You can also own up to 30 YOLOs maximum per account. Ang gameplay ay divided into two, fighting and summoning. For fighting gameplay, very similar siya to Axie Infinity. Dito makikita natin na meron ding PvP and PvE. Isa sa mga kinaiba lang is that hindi mo na kailangan mag-click. As in, kailangan mo lang i-click to start the game and wait for the battle to finish. Kumbaga ba, idle gaming. Meron ka ding option to change the position of your YOLOs in order to see kung anong position ang mas effective in making your team win. Meron din tayong daily task dito, just like Axie Infinity. You need to do the daily check-in and matatapos ka lang sa task mo if naka 10 times ka nalaro sa PvE kailangan mo rin manalo ng 5 times sa PvP. To break it down further, let me share with you this chart on how it is so much like Axie Infinity. So YOLO ang tawag sa characters natin, and 3D ang visuals ni Yo Hero, while si Axie, 2D lang. Ang token naman natin is called YO. Game currency naman is YHC. For the legendary YOLOs, or also known as the first gen or Genesis 1, there are 50,000 YOLOs. Bali people who got the first 50,000 has the rare YOLOs and the rest ay panay breeding na lang na YOLOs or called as summoning. Sa Axie naman, 1,000 only. Para naman sa whitelist nila, Yo Hero got 10,000 accounts. As for Axie, 330 accounts. So ayon, kailangan ng 3 YOLOs for breeding. And as mentioned earlier, we need 5 YOLOs to fight. Bale, if people sell 1 YO or YHC token, 4% of that ay napupunta sa liquidity pool at ang 1% ay nadidestroy automatically. Para naman sa rewards, ang additional reward ay players can receive 5% additional of their daily earnings kung nag-invite sila ng tao. I will also put the link down below kung sakaling interesado kayo sa game na ito. When you use this link, you also get tokens. 
Para naman sa summoning gameplay, it's like breeding new YOLOs. May certain amount of YHC or YO tokens na kailangan to be able to do this. Ang sabi dito, every YOLO can summon 7 times and pwede ibenta ito sa NFT marketplace ng YoHero website. So, tatlong characters ang kailangan para makasummon ka ng new YOLO. How much it takes your time. For finishing both PvP and PvE daily, kung bago ka pa lang, it can take you around 1 and a half to 2 hours daily. Pero kung mas matagal ka na, it can take you around 45 minutes to 1 hour. It depends din sa level mo and it depends kung how much your team wins. But since iiwan mo naman ang game and just let your YOLOs fight, pwede ka din naman gumawa ng ibang tasks while the game is playing. Just do not exit the game and do not auto-lock your desktop, laptop, or mobile phone. Safe ba to invest? Una sa lahat, I always believe na lahat ng NFT games ay risky. Dahil volatile po ang cryptocurrency world and we do not know what can happen to it each day. May mga araw na it's doing great and may mga araw din na hindi. Hindi talaga natin alam what happens to it every day. Pero may mga factors na pwede natin i-consider for us to be able to answer kung safe ba talaga to invest sa game na ito. First, Pagpasok pa lang natin sa website, ay makikita natin agad na Certic Approved si Yohiro. Ang Certic kasi ay isang company na gumagawa ng security audits para sa blockchain protocols, wallets, dApps, and smart contracts. Pag nakapasa ang isang NFT game sa audit na ito, mas kampante ang mga tao to invest in such games. To really prove kung totoo ba talaga, Itong PDF file na in-upload ni Yohiro for being Certic approved, kinompare ko yung PDF file result sa official website mismo ni Certic. At dito, makikita natin na pareho talaga siya. So check na tayo dito. Next, madami tayong makikita sa BSC Scan website. Makikita natin sa BSC Scan na contract source code verified ang token. At ang contract address ay locked na. Kasi kapag panay zero ang contract address, it means na they can still change the contract anytime. But ito, iba-iba na ang numbers and letters. Makikita natin na ayos na ang contract. Pag lock kasi ang contract, hindi pwedeng basta na umalis na ang devs sa project na ito. Tignan naman natin yung holders ng token na ito. Una is yung owner, then pancake swap. Then makikita natin yung ibang holders nasa 1% lang and less. Kasi if my holder dito na mas malaki, let's say around 5 to 10% or above, if binenta niya ang tokens niya, malaki ang chance na sobrang mag-crash ang price ng Yohiro. Pag dinump nila ang coins nila sa market. At yung mga transactions dito sa BSC scan, makikita natin na ito ay in and out. Usually, if scam din ang tokens, hindi ka makakapag-cash out. Next naman, tignan natin ang results sa tokensdiffer.com. It appears to this website na honeypot siya and also audit score is high risk dahil hindi pa siya listed for example sa mga websites like coingecko.com, coinmarketcap.com, and the like. As I am doing this video right now kasi, ay makikita pa lang natin ang chart niya sa PuCoin website. Clearly for now, the token is not a honeypot dahil sa mga magandang nakita natin sa BSC scan results. Okay, so moving on, makikita natin na the token is not a proxy contract. Important na ang contract ay hindi proxy dahil they can make changes anytime if a contract is proxy. The source does not contain a possible contract. So the owner of the contract cannot pause it ng kahit anytime lang. Next, Makikita natin na organic ang growth ng Yohiro, for example, sa kanilang Discord, Telegram, and Twitter channels. Dito sa Discord, 8,000 plus members pa lang as of now as I am filming this video ang kanilang Discord account and it was created last October 20. Para naman sa Twitter account, it was created last August 2021. And they have around 15,000 followers to this date and makikita natin yung mga retweets are not so much. So we know na most likely, hindi nila binayaran or binili ang retweets or followers nila. Para naman sa Telegram community, we can also see 
na very active ang both admins and members ng Yohiro community. Mas maganda kasi na sumali sa isang active na community dahil pwede tayong magtanong and we can also learn from other members of the community. Makikita din natin na kasama ang game na ito sa Binance blog. Sinasabi dito na upgraded version daw siya ng Axie Infinity. Malaking plus points din na featured ang game na ito sa Binance blog. Lastly, galing din ang mga developers na ito sa Axie Infinity community. Sila yung SM community or called Askai Mavis. So most likely, they know what they are doing. Nakakagulat din na they came up with this idea and already executed it at such a short period of time. Kahit okay naman so far ang data sa BSC scan and token sniffer, it's still hard to say if safe ba talaga to invest or not. Dahil overall, lahat ng crypto tokens are very volatile assets and are prone to rug pulls dahil hindi pa regulated ang mga restrictions sa creator ng token. And whatever happens, kahit man na na-verify na natin na pwede tayong mas maging kampante ng kahit papano to invest in this game, dahil maganda naman yung respond ng community so far sa game na ito, and the fact na it's Certic approved, featured sa very reliable blog like Binance, and came from the Axi team, it is still very important to do your own research as well, and also to invest at your own risk. Again, we do not know what can happen each day. So mag-iingat pa din talaga tayo. Short and long-term benefits of the game. Kung short-term player ka sa game na ito, you can enjoy the idle gaming experience and ang pag-buy and sell sa marketplace ng YOLOs. Pero kung long-term player ka naman sa game na ito, since the team itself said na they aim to be better than Axie Infinity, then it's a very good experience to see this game rise from the ground up. You will see and experience mismo hands-on every version of the game as they improve. Maaari din na kapag lumago na ang game na ito sa future, ay isa ka din sa mga big holders ng game na ito. And you will also reap the benefits of being in the community for a longer period of time. Isa rin sa benefit mo sa pagiging maaga sa game na ito ay mas malaki pa ang possible earnings and advantage mo versus the players who will join at a later time. Who is this game for? Ang game na ito ay for people who has the budget and is willing to shell out a budget of 1 BNB for an NFT game. Kung naghahanap ka rin ng game na idle and does not require much from you as a player, then this game is for you as well. This game is also for people who wants to have a better experience than Axie Infinity. Who is this game not for? If hindi ka willing to play a game every day that can take you an hour or two of your day, then this game may not be for you. Dahil may mga tasks ang game na ito and it might be too time-consuming for you. Ang game na ito ay also not for people who is not willing to take the risk of losing that one BNB. Dahil ngayon, it's still too early to say if the game will go really well because they just released as I am filming this now. By the way, hindi po ako financial advisor or expert sa pagbibigay ng ways to grow your money. I am just sharing all this with you based on my research and experience of people na close to me whom I know is playing this game as well. Importante pa din for you to do your own research and to invest at your own risk. At talagang pag-isipan kung saan kayong willing to invest. Maraming salamat po for taking time to watch this video. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito to making you decide whether or not to give your hero a try. And I wish all the best para sa inyong NFT games and investments. If you like this video, baka po pwede ninyong i-hit ang thumbs up button at malaking tulong po ito para sa aking channel. Always stay safe and see you on the next one!